Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. We're here today to look into the problems of plastic plumbing and the effects of AC electricity on the water that flows through plastic plumbing. And to do this we have a multimeter over here and it's set on AC volts. And we see we've got the positive probe sitting in the water and the negative probe is actually grounded to the electrical system. And right now we're actually reading almost eight and a half volts on the water that is in this tube. Now this tube is completely plastic and there is no electrical connection into the electrical system. The only uh, connection it has is from an electromagnetic interference field from the cable that is laying next to it. And this is a concern because when your plastic plumbing is routed in your house, it quite often comes very close to electric cables. And this effect is quite common on plastic plumbing from what I can tell. And uh, it certainly exists at my house. So as you can see, right now we have almost eight and a half volts. And the interesting thing is, there is no load on this lead. So there's no current flowing through this lead, there's only voltage. So the only thing that's connecting into this tube is a voltage field. And as you can see, it creates quite a substantial voltage on the plumbing system. So if you have this kind of voltage on your plumbing in your home, it is quite possible that you may get sick and not actually realize where the source of sickness is coming from. It may actually be simply your water supply has an AC voltage on it. And this effect is widely studied in the dairy industry. And it affects cows, farmers, and their families, and uh, it's widely known to make them sick. And in some cases, you know, uh, the, when it comes to cows, they fall over dead randomly. So it's quite a serious effect in the dairy industry. It's called stray voltage. And uh, if you Google stray voltage cows, you'll find a whole bunch of information about this effect. So what I'm going to do now is we've got three layers of lead, electrical lead, along this piece of plastic plumbing. So I'm going to take two of them off. I'm going to show you how the voltage changes. So we just have one lead running next to our one meter length of plastic plumbing. And this is the voltage that we get. So as you can see, it almost halved by, uh, in fact, it over halved by taking off two of the layers. So we're down to 3.62 volts with this setup right now. I'm going to take the last layer off and we can see what happens. I'm going to move the lead well away from where we're working. So we have no electrical cables running along our tube. And this is what we get. So the effect is quite dramatic. So we don't even have a volt. What we have right now is 44 millivolts. So it's tiny compared to what we had earlier. So it's, it's a very interesting effect. And uh, it's a very unfortunate effect of plastic plumbing. And if you're having health issues, I would suggest that you take a look at your plumbing and maybe have it inspected by an electrician and uh, see what he finds. And uh, the way to actually test this is to put a copper rod into your garden well away from uh, any electrical equipment and uh, run a lead into your house, connect it onto your digital millimeter and the other probe you should put in the water systems of your house and see what the voltage is on these plastic plumbing tubes that you have running through your house. And you may well be quite surprised. I found one and a half volts on my plastic plumbing in my house. So uh, it's certainly an effect that does exist in the water system. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.